I hope you uh, hear me all right. Um, thank you all, all for joining. I hope you're all having a, a good and healthy summer and, uh, and making the most of the uh, semester break for those that ha uh, who have it. Uh, in today's session, we will cover a, 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 a new subject, something that is new to CDI, the hybrid collections. Uh, we will we will uh, start with uh, some background on the collection types, and and uh, uh, then we will explain about the two new collection types that we, which we we are introducing, which is the hybrid full text collection and the hybrid A and I abstracted indexes collection. Um, uh, also, we we have published uh, yesterday a new article, hybrid collections in CDI. I believe Scott will be able to put uh, the link later in the chat for your convenience. And uh, this article covers all what we're gonna uh, uh, speak on on this session, and of course a little bit more. And uh, I recommend you uh, return to this article, and of course ask if uh, there are any uh, questions or uh, things to uh, clear. So let's dive in. Collection types in CDI, and we have introduced it in uh, about six months ago in a webinar and, and in an article. And uh, 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 this idea of collection types uh, helped, I think, uh, the community and also us to uh, better understand and better control uh, the different different uh, CDI collections and also uh, to understand better what is the best practice to work with each of the collection, understand what is the expected behavior of a uh, content uh, of each uh, collection type. So let's go over this uh, briefly. Currently, we currently have four main uh, collection types. Full text collection with portfolios with using link resolver. So this is, you can say the classic, sorry, the classic collection. We have in Alma SFX, we have a collection with portfolios, with titles. These titles, of course, on the title level, which means journal level, book level, and so on. And in the CDI uh, records, we have all the articles and all the book chapters, and we are doing writes using the link resolver and we're doing linking using the link resolver. Um, another uh, collection type, which is similar, but is a little bit different, is the second one, full text collection with portfolios, which means the Alma collection has the titles, but we are using the linking record. Why? Because in many cases, uh, this is a matter of content type, for example, with ProQuest newspapers collection, with many of uh, Alexander Street video collections, the content is not working uh, uh, well with link resolver when it comes to the linking. And for this reason, we're using the link in record. We still have the portfolios on the Alma collection for the benefit of cataloging. In some, and and uh, of course, this is something that our Alma customers want to see if it has good uh, MR records. The third collection is a database, which uh, has full text, which means the provider actually has and, and sells uh, access to the full text, but the provider does not have title list. It might be because just because they don't have it, and it might be because the content is not a, a, a classic to work with title list. For example, if it's a mixed uh, a, a content of various types, if it's a institutional repository, and so on. When we when uh, uh, when we have a collection with no title list, but in CDI we do have records and the provider is selling access to full text, this is the way we represent it, database with full text, and it will be using linking record for linking. The rights, of course, will be on the collection level and not on the title level, not using link resolver because we only have the database to activate in SFX Alma. So all records belong to this database, will be shown as full text available in CDI, in Primo. The first collection type is the ANI database. The ANI database also doesn't have title list. We maybe we will uh, uh, elaborate a little bit more in, in, in the next in the session. Doesn't have title list and it's using link resolver. For example, Scopus or Web of Science, the product and what the, the provider is selling is not access to full text but metadata, bibliographic records. By purchasing this content, you as customer actually purchasing access to this a, a, a set of metadata, 
records of the bibliographic records, and your uh, a person uh, you after uh, purchasing it and, and activating it, you will be able to see the records in your uh, Primo. However, uh, these records will show as full text available only if they match to other active full text collections. And the linking also will work with link resolver. So for example, a uh, web of science record, which is an ANI database, will show as available if the customer has access to this journal from another portfolio, let's say an EBSCO one or Gale one or ProQuest one, and the link, the, the record that will, will, will be shown in, a, 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 in CDI will be, in, mo in many cases, will be the web of science record, but the link will direct the user to the ProQuest, Gale, or EBSCO platform to read the full text. Web of Science do not have the full text, but they do have the bibliographic record. So these are the four collection types we are now having. And uh, I uh, uh, would like to remind you about the article uh, 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 describing them. We are now introducing two new hybrid collections. The first one is hybrid full text collection and the second one is hybrid ANI collection. We'll start by explaining the hybrid full text collections. We will explain why we need it, what is the problem and what is the current behavior that this hybrid full text collection is coming to solve, and we will explain how does it work. Some collections contain mix of content types. Uh, we see this in a big collection, but also many in, in, in small collections which are dedicated to specific subjects. For example, ProQuest Central, Gale One File, Religion Database, Social Science Database. So in these collections, we actually have traditional academic content, as we said, journal, books, and so on, but also non-traditional content types like videos, images, archival content, and old newspapers article, and so on. Why do we have these collections? Well, this is how the providers sell them. Uh, when it comes to a, a, a spe subject specific collections, of course, the providers are, uh, want to sell this uh, subject uh, specific collection, not only with books and or gender journals, but also with a, a more content types. I mean, this is a, a something that is, a, I think, quite new in the industry. And I think there is a demand from this, from the, from the community and from the libraries. Uh, this kind of collections are very popular. Uh, uh, also, when it comes to big collections like Poco Central or Gale One File, in these uh, 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 big collections that actually cover most or, or, or um, most of the important uh, content uh, held by offered by the provider. So, of course, the provider wants to put in it uh, uh, not only the classic content but also uh, other content types that uh, uh, are uh, uh, available for. A subscription and uh, are a, a part of a, a their offerings. So we have these mixed collections. Usually, what we have done in, until now, we uh, uh, treated them in, in most cases as the first type, which means, and this is how ProQuest Central working now in Gale One File, we have full text collection with portfolio using Link Resolver. In hybrid full text collections, we will be able to use multiple linking methods in the same collection. So this is the, uh, uh, the main change here. If now we are using only one method of linking, the link resolver, when we change a collection to hybrid, we make it hybrid linking. Part of the content will work with link resolver and part of the content will work with link in record. So let's see an example. Mixed collections. This is an example, and I put it as a diagram, so it will be. Uh, I think it will be better to to, to visualize and, and understand. This is not specific uh, collection, but you can say I gathered few examples to create this uh, 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 ex uh, example. As we all know, in the world of single activation, in the world of CDI, uh, we have the SFX Alma collection, which is what we are controlling on, what we are activating. And we have the CDI records, which are uh, uh, belong or linked or match to this SFX Alma collection. The CDI records, okay, are actually 
uh, 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 will appear in the UI, in the Primo UI, after activating the, the collection in SFX or ALMA. So in this case, in the SFX ALMA collection, we have title list. And in this title list, we have uh, uh, several uh, uh, kinds of, 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 of content or, or titles. We have journals, we have books, and we have, for in this example, newspapers. And in the CDI records, we have articles match to the journals, okay? Article records, all the article records that were published in these journals are part of CDI. Also with books, the books are represented in SFX Alma as titles, and in CDI, they're represented in many, many cases also as books, but also in also many cases, we have the book chapters. We go one level down. With the newspapers also, if in SFX AMA collection we have the newspaper, one title for newspaper, in CDI we will have the newspaper's article. And in this, in, in this example, I added another section, another part of records, which is available and uh, exists only on CDI and does not have representation in the SFX ALMA, which is the dissertation. So this is the case with some of ProQuest collections. So you can see that the journals and articles will work well with Link Resolver because the journals have ISSNs. One journal have ISSN 111222, and the other one have 333 and so on. And the articles, of course, also have these identifiers on them. By, ident by doing the identifier match, we are able to do writes and using the link resolver properly. The same for books. If we have the ISBN on the books, we are able to calculate writes and use the SFX or ALMA link resolver uh, uh, perfectly. But when we have, in, in this case, in this example, the newspapers, Let's say they're old newspapers. They do not have ISSNs. They do have titles, but they don't have ISSNs. So in this case, we will not be able to do rights because CDI does rights only when it comes to title level rights only with identifiers. And also with the linking, if we do link resolver on this record, the newspaper's article, Alma and SFX knows to do link resolver on title, but this is risky. Okay, titles, a, a comparison, title match is not as strong as identifier match. We all know it. Different providers catalog a, a, are cataloging differently. And sometimes there are differences also between the feed that comes to SFX and the feed that comes to CDI. So even though we see that in many cases it, it is working, we do also see cases where it is not working. And uh, as, 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 a, as a rule, we, are, we really prefer to not do title match for linking, but to use a, a stronger identifiers or stronger a, a, a ways of linking. With the dissertations also, the link, the, uh, the rights of course will not work because we, we don't have any portfolio active for these dissertations. And of course that the ALMA link resolver will not work because uh, when ALMA or SFX will try to find the portfolio, it will not find it. So this is the current behavior. This is the current situation that we have with these kind of collections. And as I said, in most, most cases, the current configuration is to use the link resolver. So let's understand again and understand why we need the hybrid linking. After seeing, on, seeing it on the diagram, let's explain again. We know that CDI writes use two uh, methods. We have the title level, when we have the match by identifier, which means uh, uh, the title, the ISSN or the RSBN will go into the holdings files and CDI will bring all the records, as we already know, from all sources, not from specific source, but from all sources in CDI, from all providers, match to this identifier. And we have the collection level, which means all the records of this collection will show as available in a Primo. Customers can control the way they want the, uh, 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 the rights to work. They can do it by using the we subscribe to only some titles in this collection. 
You can see it here under the CDI tab. After you activate a collection for full text, you have the CDI tab and you are able to, uh, uh, to choose. We subscribe to only some titles in this collection, yes or no. So if it's yes, it means it's a title level rights. It means that all the records, all, all the uh, titles, I mean, we're doing the activation on the specific Alma, so all the titles active, all the portfolios active in, under this collection will go into the holdings files and CDI will calculate, will calculate a, 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 a rights for them based on identifiers. So all the records, CDI records with these identifiers will show as full text available. But if you choose, we subscribe to only some titles in this collection as no, it means the rights are working with collection level. It means that all the records of this collection, no matter if they have identifiers or not, no matter if they have portfolios in the SFX Alma collection or not, will show as full text available. So, currently, when the whole collection is link resolver, our customers are actually facing a, a, a rights and linking issues. If they choose the title level, it means that records without identifiers will not appear as available. In the example above, for example, as we said, the newspaper article of this collection and also dissertations will not show as available to users in first search and also in second search because CDI will not know to calculate rights on them. Title level rights, as we said, need identifiers and these do not have. However, if the customer are choosing to do collection level rights, so they will show, the user will see these records as full text available because they are part of this collection, but as we explained, they may have linking issues. The newspaper's article, in this example, they will work with title match. It will work, but in one of 10, it will not work. And the uh, uh, and dissertations, of course, will not work at all. So uh, the effect or the result to the end user will be record uh, uh, shows as full text available in the brief result, but after clicking on the link or opening the to full view, the link will disappear and the indication will change to no full text. We see uh, cases like this. We understand that this uh, 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 is disappointing for the end user. And for this, we're coming with uh, uh, this solution for these hybrid collections. I would say that uh, uh, our best practice uh, and we are published in the collection types article. And also I think do we advise this uh, uh, in, in specific uh, customer cases is uh, to do the title level, okay? In cases where customers uh, saw a, a false positive uh, rights, which means a, a full, text, a, a full text available in the brief. And then after uh, clicking the link, no full text, we uh, suggested our customers to use the uh, title level, which means change the we subscribe to only some titles in this collection to yes. And this of course resolved and, and, and uh, solved the issue of the uh, uh, broken link or the, 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 the false positive links. But as we explained, uh, uh, customers still are paying for this content and we want our users to see all this content in Primo as available. So till now, we actually explained the current behavior and the problem. Let's now explain how the hybrid full text collection will work and why this will solve it. Records, when we uh, uh, configure collection to mixed collection to work with uh, uh, as hybrid full text collection, it means that we uh, uh, configure, we work on the CDI records and we uh, add another configuration, internal configuration, internal rule that says for each record, if it has identifier, it will work with the link resolver. But it, if it doesn't have identifier, or we have another rule for the progress collection, or if it's of type dissertations, it will work with linking record. So what we are doing actually, we are solving the linking issue. We are uh, 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 solving the, uh, 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 the scenario where 
uh, uh, records will appear as full text in brief uh, uh, results and then will change to no full text after clicking the link. And after doing this, we actually can recommend again to our customers to change and make sure that we, they have the we subscribe to only some titles in this collection as no, which means to uh, activate this collection on collection level, all the collection content will appear as full text available. And as I explained, the link, the problematic links will, uh, uh, will work. I mean, in cases where we had problems with links, uh, these uh, cases will be solved because we will not use the link resolver. We will use the direct link from the record directly to the uh, uh, full text article. So in this case, just to finish the, uh, this explanation, the articles and the journals, as we said, they work well with Link Resolver. They will continue to work well with Link Resolver. We want them to work with Link Resolver because our customer, I mean, because our customers want to see all the full text options. Okay, they want to see the link to EBSCO, the link to GAL, the link to ProQuest, if if available, and this will uh, still be available. The same for books as journals. If uh, uh, they have identifiers, they will work perfectly with Link Resolver. Newspapers and newspapers articles, in this case, where we said we don't have identifiers, they will work with link in record. Dissertations also, they will appear as full text available because they have the collection level rights. Okay, we're activating all the four types of the CDI uh, collections and they will have link in record and they will not fail on link resolver as it was before. So this is uh, basically the explanation. Uh, I will say one thing, you don't have anything to do. You don't need to do anything uh, special uh, to make the collection hybrid. There is no need for any configuration from your end. And uh, uh, this is something that we are doing from our end. We are changing the collection to hybrid. Uh, we do recommend, as we said before, that after you check, and, uh, check it and after, after you see that it is working for you, Subscribe to own some title in this collection, change it to no, to expose and, and to show the uh, non-identified content which might uh, uh, you, you have might hid, uh, uh, hide before of this change. I will now cover a few uh, important things that you will need to know about uh, uh, the hybrid full text collections. So the first thing is about linking. So what we have now is actually we have full text uh, 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 collections with portfolios, which are actually using link and record. If it's a link and record as part of the hybrid or if it's the second collection type. Customers who have the Alma level URL override configured already, and we have an article here to explain how to configure it, will be able to use it for the institution authentication, also for link and record. This is available in collection with portfolios. So for example, if I have ProQuest Central and have configured this in, in, in ProQuest, I, I configured this link with my account ID, my library ID, which helps for my authentication of ProQuest. Also the link in records, which will uh, appear uh, for records of this collection, will have this account ID as a suffix and they will help me authenticating to ProQuest. I will mention that, of course, this is not a must and ProQuest knows to uh, uh, do authentication other ways, but we do know that for part of the cu our customers, uh, uh, I know that for Open Athens customers, in some cases, this is uh, 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 needed for off-campus users. And this is a solution that we can uh, uh, actually give to libraries when it comes to collections with portfolios. Another thing that is important to know is about the DBIDs. So a uh, hybrid collection, and this is true also for, uh, for hybrid full text collection, and as we will see also for hybrid, hybrid a &I collections, they have two DBIDs. Um, this is uh, uh, needed for us to make the split and uh, make part of the records work differently than the other part. This is internal. These are not real collections. Uh, the main DBID, the main DBID of the collection is the first one, and this is the one you need to search. And the second is internal, and as we said, using for calculating the hybrid linking. 
if you will uh, search for, uh, by it, you will see records because it has records on it. But as I said, the main uh, DBID of the collection is the first one. So what are plans for hybrid full text collections? So uh, this is a project that we are aiming to finish uh, uh, this quarter, which means by end of September. Procore Central is already using hybrid linking method and customers are uh, more than invited to check their Procore Central records and see that for reports, newspapers article with identifiers, dissertations that are part of Procore Central, it's important, the part of Procore Central and the full text activation for, the, for them, I mean, uh, uh, the, the full text uh, rights for them are coming from Procore Central is using the hybrid linking method and you will be able to see a direct link to ProQuest for records in this collection. ProQuest Central is part of a big list of 101 ProQuest collections, which will be hybrid by end of September. The list is published in the hybrid collection CQC article, which Scott, I, I believe, put the link earlier in the chat. Uh, and, uh, and these collections, as I said, will be hybrid by end of September. Uh, building this list, by, for building with this list, we actually uh, looked at several parameters. We looked at collections that have a, a big uh, a part or big percentage of non of portfolios without identifiers, and for which means that we, the, also the records in most cases would not have identifiers. And we also checked the ProQuest collections, which have dissertations, but ProQuest are not including these dissertations in the title list. So by looking on these parameters, we actually built this list of 101 ProQuest collections, which ProQuest Central is the first of them. Uh, the criteria we used for ProQuest collection is, uh, as I explained before, we are using link in record when the CDI records, and I will say again, the CDI record, not the title on the uh, SFX Alma, when the CDI record doesn't have identifier or when it is of type dissertation. Uh, in, in the future, when we will change more collections to hybrid, and of course, we will explain it to uh, other providers, uh, this criteria may be changed from provider to provider and also from, from collection to collection. But for now, this is the criteria used for this list of 101 ProQuest collections. Okay, important note, the hybrid indication on the SFX Alma collection will be added in October. It's not available already now. So if you're gonna check now Alma CZ, you will see that Procore Central is still a link resolver. The link is still a link resolver. And we had this lag of, of, of month uh, till this will be ready, the new hybrid indication on the SFX Alma. We did decide to go with the, uh, uh, with the solution, with the hybrid solution earlier than later, because we know it's gonna solve linking issue for our customers and we don't want to wait with this. So for now, if you're asking our, yourselves about uh, uh, the collections, you please check the, uh, the list on the CKC article. And of course we will update there uh, any, any change. Um, on October, during October, we will add the hybrid indication to the SFX Alma collection. You will be able to filter by it. And in hybrid full text collection, the indication will be full text rights link resolver, of course, because we're still doing link resolver. Linking will be hybrid. As we said, part of the records will work with link resolver and part will work with link in record. And the CDI, of course, is full text collections because the provider is selling full text for 100% of this content. So I encourage you uh, about, let's uh, sum up about the, the hybrid full text collection. I encourage you to check the list, to check Procure Central activations. And during September, this change will be live for all of the list. And uh, we'll be happy to hear feedback, questions, and any concern that you have. Let's go on to our sec uh, second uh, uh, new collection type, which is the hybrid AMI collection. Some abstracting, abstracting and indexing databases contain full text for part of the content. 
uh, we know that we have, and I brought it in, in the beginning, I brought example of Scopus and Web of Science. These are uh, providers that their business is selling metadata. Their business is selling records. This is what they do. But we do have other NI providers or content contributors, which also have part of the content only on the metadata level. They don't have full text for this, but they do have full text on their platform for some for, for, for some of for part of the data. A good example for this is Eric, this important collection, uh, and I think uh, the most important uh, collection in social science in, 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 in um, social social sciences. Of course, uh, it it uh, it offers um, a lot a lot of metadata and important bibliographic uh, uh, records, but also they have a lot of full text on their platform. So, uh, our solution for uh, till now, uh, as I said in the beginning. In a classic ANI database, the uh, the linking is link resolver, and as I explained before, the linking will work with link resolver to another act to, to another if if to another providers to another provider to other providers who actually sell the uh, full text. What we will want to do in these hybrid ANI collections is use linking record when the ANI providers offers access to full text on their platform. So for example, with Eric, if Eric are offering full text to a record or to an article on their platform, and of course, if they have a good indication on the metadata, which implies and, and we can work by it, so we will be able to offer a direct link to Eric. The ANI content, the, the, the second part of the content where Eric are not offering full text, they don't have the full text on their platform, will continue to work as any other ANI, which means, as we said before, it will appear as full text available only if they match to other full text activations. And the records also will use Link Resolver to link to the full text platform. So for example, uh, I, have, uh, I have an Eric record, but Eric do not have the full text on their platform. so. It will not show as available unless I have match for this from another a, a full text portfolio. If I have match for this, for example, from an EBSCO, EBSCO portfolio, Sage portfolio, Gale portfolio, I will see it as available and I will have a link directing me to EBSCO Gale request platform to read the full text. So let's see how it looks like again and um, for example we have one big collection and of course in this uh, diagram i mean only to the cdi records uh, in this case we don't have titles on the database on the sfx alma database because this is because because it's zero title database of course so we are now talking about the cdi collections so we have the yellow part which is the bibliographic data only the rights will show as full text available if there is an identifier match to other full text activations and the linking will use link resolver to the full text platform. But the purple part where we have the full text on provider platform, when we talk about rights, they will always show as full text available. And the linking will, you, will, will be linked in record to the NI provider platform. So, how to work with them. Hybrid and ANI collection are a collection of type database, as I explained before. Uh, the new behavior will be applied when, first, when the ANI collection is hybrid, when it's configured to be hybrid. And for this, again, till October, you are invited to check the list. And after October, it will be available on the collection view in SFX and Alma. And of course, you need the NI collection to be active for full text in Alma or use the activate for full text in CDI only and not active only for search. This is important. If you have the NI collection active only for, for search, the full text records will not show as full text available. To show the full text records where Eric, for example, have the full text on their platform, you need 
to activate the ANI with as, uh, as full text. You, you can say as the third collection type, the full text database, which means act for full text in ALMA or activate for full text in CDI only. If you activate it for full text, still the records with no full text will not show as available, only the records with full text. Our plans for hybrid NI collections uh, is like this. Eric and Article SOC are already hybrid NI collections. They're already live. We have about Eric, we have a, spe a special article, and I also invite you to read it to explain and because we have a, a, a several area collections and also with article SOC, we explain it in the release notes. Uh, I would say the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, in, in Eric and also in article SOC, we do have the big collection, which is the hybrid one, which contains also the ANI and also the full text, but we also have a smaller collection, another collection only for the full text. Okay. So, Customers, it, it will work either way, okay? You can activate the small full text collection or you cannot activate it and only activate for full text the big collection and it will work the same. Um, uh, we were, we're not gonna uh, delete or remove this full text collection after having the, hybrid, the big collection as hybrid because we have customers active for them and we don't think that we need to, to change anything because it's working uh, uh, perfect as it is. Uh, I would say that uh, 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 in future, when in other collection, these uh, full text uh, uh, specific collections uh, uh, may not be uh, uh, created because, as I said before, if we have the hybrid collection, so this gives the solution uh, 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 for this, and there is no need for uh, another full text collection. We will add more NI collections over time. And I'm really uh, uh, happy to hear from the community. And I already got uh, uh, some uh, suggestions and ideas about this kind of collections. And we will be happy to add more collections to use this uh, 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 new uh, 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 configurations. Uh, as I said in the in the hybrid full text collection, the hybrid indication on the collection on SFX on Alma, it will be added in October. Till then we encourage you to check the list. Uh, the, the indication on the collection will be as follows. The full text rights will be hybrid because for the full text, we're doing collection level rights. All of it will show is available. And for the uh, non full text collection, for not, 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 full, not full, non full text records, I'm sorry, it will use link resolver. The linking, of course, also will be hybrid because uh, we are doing link resolver for part of the record and link in record for other part of the record. And also the CDI type will be hybrid because the ANI, it's not ANI, it's not full text, it's hybrid. Part of the records are full text and part of the records are ANI only. So this is how uh, the hybrid ANI collection will show in SFX Alma. And as I said, it will be added in October we will change Eric and Article Soc and any other collection that will work with this configuration. And it will be also available in the filtering. And I believe also in the analytics. Uh, maybe this is something that we need to check, but I believe also in the Alma analytics. So um, let's have a quick summary and some time for uh, uh, questions. So. We covered the uh, uh, collection types available in uh, CDI. Uh, we uh, talked about the new, the, the new collection types which we are introducing, the hybrid full text collection, which is coming to solve the problem of a mixed collection of various content types and various quality of records. And uh, um, this is something that uh, I believe will be uh, very important to solve uh, linking issues that we see uh, from our customers. Uh, the second type is hybrid ANI collection, which is also meant to uh, 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 to help our customers to see good links. Uh, I didn't mention, but in most cases, of course, these full text links are open access and are actually a uh, good links that our customers can use. Uh, if it if it if it is to Eric, Article Soc, and any other collection that will be added to use this configuration. Email is here. 
uh, I encourage you, of course, to uh, to test it, to check, and to ask any questions. Our support teams, the product team, the operation team, my team will be happy to help and assist. Uh, and of course, we open to, to to to. I mean, if something needs to be changed or <laughs> revised, we are here for you for for this, and uh, we are here for you to to improve the product as uh, as we go. Again, thank you so much for uh, participating.